Well, my name is Jessica Price, and I am the Young Alumni Giving Coordinator here at Chapman. I actually graduated May of last year, and I started working for the university right afterwards. And some of the programs that I oversee is Student Philanthropy, the Senior Legacy, Young Alumni Giving, and the 1861 Club. And Student Philanthropy is actually very near and dear to my heart because as a student last year, I helped um, spearhead the program. And basically what Student Philanthropy is, is just creating awareness of where the money from the Chapman Fund and where donors' money goes and how it also helps support the university and also just creating that awareness for students. And so the Chapman Fund actually um, serves for four purposes. It does student opportunities, faculty excellence, emerging areas, and also scholarship programs. And um, a lot of people really don't know about all of those purposes, so it's really important that we start the conversation now as students and really create this culture of gratitude and give them opportunities to thank the donors who have actually helped um, fund their education. So those are the main missions of the Student Philanthropy Initiative, and also it's open to freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors. Um, one other program that I work on is the Senior Legacy, and that, that is actually for seniors, and it's their first initial gift back to Chapman and really starting their legacy with the university. And this year, we actually kind of changed the program a little bit, and now it's more focused on creating senior memories as well as giving back to the university. And this year, the seniors decided to give back to merit-based scholarships, and they've actually raised over $3,700 towards their goal, and um, they want at least 40% of the class to participate. And so some of the things that they have done is they've done a senior sunrise to mark the beginning of their senior year, and this semester they're doing a senior taco night along with uh, senior week. So some of the things that we do for student philanthropy are did you know facts, which I handed out to most of the people um, in this room. And really it's just starting that education. And right now we have them displayed in the student union and also on the Wilson Tron. We hand them out on at different events that we have. And it's just a way for um, students to really start thinking about how their education is funded. Um, one of the other things that we're going to do this semester for education is creating a scavenger hunt around campus, and uh, the students are actually building this right now, but they'll go to different buildings and find out different facts about donors, or um, we'll have facts around campus that are on the did you know facts, and the students will go around and find those facts and actually win a great prize for that. Um, one of the signature events that we do is Thank a Donor, and last year it was our first time, and we had over 120 students participate, and they wrote over 200 thank you notes, and it was such a great opportunity because it was one of the first times that students actually got to sit down and express how thankful they were for our donor support, and we sent, it, we sent them to young alumni, and the feedback that we got on it was amazing. They loved that handwritten note from the students, and they really knew that their support actually did mean something and went to the students. And after reading some of the notes, it was just really cool to see how touching it was um, for them to have their Chapman experience. And so this year, we're actually doing our second event, and it's going to be two days, and our goal is to write over 500 thank you notes and send it um, to more than just young alumni. And the scavenger hunt will actually be put in um, conjunction with the thank a donor. And this year, it's on March 21st and March 22nd. And then one of the uh, other events that we did, we did a joint retreat between the Senior Legacy and the Student Philanthropy Initiative because they really help supplement each other's efforts. Um, if you go back to the time, talent, and treasure, those are the three things that make up philanthropy. So really in their freshman, sophomore, junior years, they're giving their time and their talent um, back to the university or to different organizations that they're a part of. And then their senior year, they're able to continue giving their time and their talent, but they're also um, able to give some of their treasure. And so 
We just did our first uh, retreat this January, and it was great because we had a guest speaker who is really um, great in this industry. His name's Jim Langley, and he was able to talk to the students about philanthropy and really some great ideas and programs um, that they could implement here. And also they were able to plan out this semester and really help each other with ideas. So next year we're going to do it in the summer so that they can plan out their whole entire year. And then if they have any questions or if your students want to get involved, they can email studentphil at chapman.edu or they can definitely just call me. We also have committee meetings on Tuesday nights at 4 p.m. in the Panther Pad. Uh, my name is Madison Shutt. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize you were on that side. <laughs> um, and this is Jenny Feinstein. And um, we are here on behalf of Chapman University's Department of Student and Campus Life, specifically representing student civic engagement. And so I'm just going to go through a brief overview of what it is that we do. So first of all, what is civic engagement? Well, um, here is a really complicated definition. Um, so we did break it down. Basically, it's um, civic engagement is about recognizing that we are part of our community and that we have a responsibility um, to serve that community. And so to actually take action with civic engagement, uh, we need knowledge, values, and motivation, and skills to do that. And that's kind of what we do in our department is help students um, develop all of those skills and all that knowledge and then just help them recognize that it goes beyond helping but actually making a significant change in the community. And so now we're going to discuss why Chapman University has such a strong um, devotion to civic engagement. And um, there are actually a few theories that higher education actually has a responsibility to instill this um, civic engagement minded um, nature into students. And so um, generally college students are the most engaged group of young people on many measures of civic engagement. But unfortunately that starts to decline once they leave college. And so part of our goal is to not just have students engaged in college but to really inspire them to be connected throughout their community through their whole life. And this also ties in a lot to the Chapman University mission statement, which is ultimately to produce <laughs> lives as global citizens. And so by instilling this um, desire to work with your community, it will hopefully last throughout their entire lives and ultimately produce the student that Chapman is aiming to, um, to nurture. So. OK, so what does civic engagement look like at Chapman? This is my favorite part. Um, so we have different experiences that we offer in the Department of Student Campus Life. So there's all kinds of leadership opportunities, community service, sustainability initiatives, um, and just involvement with the community in many different ways. And um, one particular example of um, a particular event that we put on every year is the Chapman Day of Service. It's typically held in November and it's an opportunity for students to all come together and um, volunteer in the community. And so um, actually this past year um, we met our goal of having 150,000 hours of community service completed throughout the whole last school year. And um, there were thousands of hours that are completed on this day alone. So it's a really amazing opportunity for all the Chapman students to disperse out into the community and get serving. So. Okay, um, then we have the alternative break trips, which is the program that I work with. And basically, it's a one week experience, a service immersion, and um, we offer trips to different locations. Last year, we offered trips to the Grand Canyon in Sa San Jose. Um, I was the trip coordinator for the Grand Canyon trip, and I'm blowing some bubbles right there. <laughs> um, and it's just basically. Um, you do service for about four days in the, with the agency, and then you have a day off to explore the area, and you have evenings, and um, I had an amazing, amazing experience. So that was really awesome. And um, here are just some more photos. This year, just for some idea, um, the program has grown significantly, and now we're going to be offering um, another trip, um, hopefully four. So San Jose again, Grand Canyon, Catalina for conservation and um, Alabama for tornado relief. Um, so that's going to be really exciting um, to see that happen. And then here's another picture from the Grand Canyon. 
And so another initiative in which student civic engagement is involved is the Give a Little Bit campaign. And I know I previously mentioned, but Chapman University had a goal for their 150th year um, to have 150,000 hours of service. And so we actually met and exceeded that goal this past year. So that's really amazing, an amazing feat. So we're very proud of that and all of our students for being involved. Okay, um, another program that we do is called Roots Native Habitat Restoration, and we actually have a trip, um, they're actually there right now, um, and they go to the Newport Upper Bay um, area, and they just remove invasive species or help the agency with whatever they need. Um, it's every third or fourth Saturday, Saturday of every month, so it's a regular thing, and um, it's just, it's a really awesome experience, and it's beautiful out there, so that's something that we're involved with as well. And so, what can civic engagement do for your students? So, there are a lot of amazing potential impacts of involvement in student civic engagement. Um, awareness of a greater community, seeing yourself as part of a larger social fabric. There are a lot of career possibilities that can emerge from this, be, be it working with an organization and discovering a passion. Um, there are a lot of transferable skills that one can take away from being civically engaged that can transfer well into a career or a job in the future. And um, we really stress having a generative relationship with the community. So rather than seeing it as, a, as um, like a Chapman University and the outside community, we kind of see ourselves as a whole and working together to better our community as a whole. So that's very much where we want to put our emphasis is as a working together rather than helping. I know we previously mentioned we would like to change rather than help. You know, so um, really working together is what we emphasize. And um, it really can promote life-changing educational experiences, so. Oh, it's gonna go, there we go. Okay, so basically the last thing that we wanna mention is that um, a lot of uh, what students can see is that there's separate entities, like the university, students, and then the community, that they're disconnected. And what we really hope to see is um, that our experiences bring all of those three things together um, and just interconnect them. So that's our, our goal um, for civic engagement. Thank you. And um, for further information, um, here are just some, there's an email, sce at chapman.edu or our website, chapman.edu slash scl slash civic. And now we're gonna hear from philanthropy. Thank you. So I'd like the students to just go through and introduce yourselves again, and also say what organizations that you're involved in and then why you got involved in civic engagement and student philanthropy. Hi, my name is Rachel Tillman. I'm a public relations and advertising major with a psychology minor. I'm a junior here at Chapman. I'm involved with the Chapman Ambassadors Program. I'm also involved in student government. I'm the Dodge College Senator in SGA, and I'm involved in Greek life here at Chapman. Um, I got involved with the student philanthropy program, uh, not only through the other programs that I'm interested in, and a lot of my friends were working on it, but it was also the ability to give back. I'm really proud of Chapman, especially after President Doty's State of the University yesterday. Um, it made me so excited, like I definitely picked the right school. And I want someone else to have that experience. I'm really grateful for the experience I've had here. And if I can give $20.13 for the class of 2013 and give that opportunity to someone else, um, that's what I really believe in. My name is Emily Vogt. I am also a junior public relations advertising and communication studies major with a minor in leadership and organizational studies, rather long. Um, on campus, I am the president of my sorority. I'm involved in five honor societies, namely Mortarboard. I'm the membership chair. It's a senior honor society, so I would encourage all of you, your students to apply because you apply as juniors. Um, I recently was hired as an orientation coordinator for first year programming. I'm in charge of staff training and the residential life liaison. So if you can remember back to the crazy orientation week, all of the students in their matching t-shirts welcoming to, you to Chapman. I'm in charge of choosing that staff. So we get another plug. <laughs> I'd encourage your students to apply for that as well. Applications are out for both of those. Um, I ch was fortunate enough to be selected to go on the student philanthropy retreat that we had this past interterm. And I had an amazing time and it was very eye-opening. Um, I'm sure you have on your did you know facts that 70, only 70% 70 of our tuition is covered by, um, is, is covered by, tu 
Okay, 78% Correct. of your tuition covers your school year, covers but you the, the rest year. of the year. The rest of the year is made up for uh, from the Chapman Fund and from donors. And I myself know I wouldn't be here without the amazing financial aid and scholarships that Chapman already offers. So on top of that, it was incredibly eye-opening. Something, a message that I really want to spread, as well as giving back. Um, I have had an amazing Chapman experience. And again, I can't wait to... Um, press upon my fellow classmates to donate the $20.13 that we will be raising as a senior legacy because you're giving it back to someone else as well as, I'm not sure if you're aware that the new U.S. News and World Report rankings, a lot of that is based off of alumni donations. So not only are you helping someone, but you're also increasing the value of your degree because the higher percentage of alumni giving back, the higher your rankings are on that scale. I'm Jenny. Again, um, I work in the Department of Student Campus Life, and I'm a Student Civic Engagement Program Assistant. I'm also a Sustainability Leader. Um, my major, Environmental Science and Policy, and I'm a sophomore here. Um, I'm not <laughs> graduating in 2013, but um, that's fine. So, um, yeah. My name is Madison Shutt, and okay. And I'm a sophomore here at Chapman, and I'm a peace studies major, um, a double major with French as well. And um, I'm involved in the National, National Society of Leadership and Success, as well as the National Society of Collegiate Scholars. And um, I got involved in um, student civic engagement because I really do believe in the concept of the larger so social fabric. And um, there's a particular quote that I love that says, if you've come because your liberation is bound up with mine, then let us work together. So it's very much this sense of community that we'd love for Chapman students to experience and to really work together to better um, not just the separate entities of our community and the outside community, but to really work together and see all these amazing opportunities that can form. And specifically where I work is community outreach and volunteer recruitment. And so I've been able to have the chance to meet with a bunch of different outside agencies, whether they're related to um, poverty or immigration. Those are my two specific areas. And it really is amazing to see all the incredible work that people are doing in Orange County to um, help people and to combat these issues that our community is facing. So it's been a really eye-opening and amazing experience to see all the incredible work and agencies that this community has to offer. So it's been really, really rewarding, so. And what has been your most meaningful experience so far in your organizations? Like, uh, is there any particular time that um, you really felt that you were so passionate about what you're doing, that you're happy that you're there, or? I'll go ahead and okay. start. Okay. Uh, well, for me, I think it was definitely the Grand Canyon Alternative Spring Break trip that I went on um, last year. I, I had the most amazing time, and we created a really strong relationship with the agency. Um, we've been wor we're working with them again. Um, the same ranger. It's going to the same place. Um, just a different group of students, and I think that's awesome. And um, it really just the experience was so meaningful for me that I'm actually planning the trips this year and like I've been planning the trips since the summer so it's I have put so much work into it and I'm really really excited because I want students to be able to have an amazing experience like I did and I'm just so happy that the program has grown so much um, because I I really had a meaningful experience and I felt like what I was doing was ha like actually helping the area and making a difference. Um, and I created lasting relationships with the people that I went on the trip with. I'm, I'm still really close with them. And in fact, a lot of them are going again this year and we're, um, a bunch of us are going on the same trip. So it's gonna be like a reunion, which I'm really, really excited about. So that was definitely one of the more meaningful experiences. And if um, you can encourage your students maybe next year to try it because it really was awesome, so. Has anyone heard of American Celebration? Anyone? Okay. Um, so as a Chapman ambassador, I've been privileged enough to attend American Celebration the past two years. And it's honestly, not only is it fun and fantastic, and it's so much fun to see the show, um, but it's really powerful to interact with Doy and D. Henley of Henley Hall and be able to sit at a table with them and have a conversation with them and be able to thank them for the opportunities they've given to our Chapman students, um, as well as all of our donors, all of our special guests. And uh, it's very 
moving to see these people that maybe they didn't go to Chapman, but they believe in the same purpose we're all here for. Um, I feel like Chapman's such a sense of community, uh, and there is such a sense of service. I grew up as a Girl Scout. Um, my parents always taught me to volunteer, and that's definitely part of the community atmosphere at Chapman. So to have these people that um, feel the same way and are willing to give all of their time and talents and treasure and they're always here um, they come in on Saturdays for random events on campus to see these people as role models uh, really inspires me to hopefully be able to be that person one day and also to want to be that person among my peers and hopefully say like didn't you have a great time at Chapman don't you want someone else to have that fantastic opportunity um I am going to speak about my experience in Greek life. A strong pillar of our Greek community is philanthropy. And while all chapters do have their separate uh, specific areas where they choose to donate their time or money, um, at the end of the day, we're all doing good and doing service. And uh, there's been definitely strong programs. Our Greek community is very strong on campus, and we're very inclusive. And it's very unique to um, Greek communities across the nation. But at the end of the day, we're all values-based organizations, and Chapman has done a great job of utilizing this through things like Chapman Day of Service and Greek Day of Service, where we all do come together to give back to the community. Um, I've had some of my most powerful experiences being a part of these organizations because we're here to build better people, and through that, I believe that um, I've definitely defined my morals and values, which, again, have led me to the realization that giving back is one of those that's up at the top. So without that experience, I definitely wouldn't have had the go-getting attitude that I do today. As I previously mentioned, I'm involved in community outreach and volunteer recruitment, and so I do have a lot of interaction with outside agencies. And so this past day of service, I actually helped plan an event to make stockings, Christmas stockings for kids with cancer. And um, it was I mean, it was just one of the most amazing experiences. Um, I contacted this agency, the Beckstrand Foundation. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with it, but they are really well put together. They have an amazing um, goal to help cancer patients um, during their time of need, especially like with, there's a lot of, there's a lot of money that's put towards research, which is obviously incredibly important, but the Beckstrand Foundation um, focuses a lot on the immediate needs of cancer patients. So while they're going through therapy, a lot of them can't afford their rent, and all these different you know, financial crises start to um, occur. And so um, it was just so amazing when I went and I dropped off it was an amazing amount of, um, we had Christmas stockings personalized for all the different children who are battling cancer, and um, we also made a bunch of decorations for their holiday party, and just the gratitude that I, I felt from them when we walked in the office was truly amazing. They, um, they were so grateful. They said, you know, if we hadn't have been there to make these stockings, this would have been a multiple day process for them, and now they were able to dedicate their efforts, you know, to making the party even better. So. Um, it seems so simple just to make stockings for kids, but it, it's incredibly um, powerful the way in which it can um, promote our greater community. So that was, that was a particularly war um, amazing experience that I've incurred with student civic engagement. Emily and I both had the opportunity to go on uh, the student philanthropy and senior legacy retreat and um, honestly I didn't really know what I was getting myself into when I went I was just <laughs> like oh yeah sure that sounds great uh, weekend in Hollywood um, and it, it was really fantastic um, I learned so much about you know the facts that Emily was saying um, that it improves our ranking that tuition doesn't cover your time here at Chapman um, and I think simply like the education and the awareness was such an eye-opening experience for me that I already felt strongly about Chapman as I'm sure many of your students do like obviously they're juniors they're like been here for a while they're kind of sticking around so um, I when I was aware of all of these other things that we could do to better our community, um, that's really what the retreat did for me. So I had a great time not only working with some students who are very involved on campus, and some I already knew, some I made some new friends like Emily here, um, but we had a great time, but we also had some really valuable workshops, and it was simply education and understanding what it meant to give back as a student, which is kind of an awkward, you say, I'm already paying tuition, why should I give back more? Um, but then when you realize the difference that it can make and how it's in a different category altogether, I think that's really what makes the difference. Do you guys have any last thoughts or comments? 
Well, thank you. Oh, go ahead. No, no. I, I just would really encourage um, you, if your students aren't as familiar with these two areas, if you feel like you want to talk with them and see um, if they're interested in getting involved in any of these areas that we've spoken about today, I really encourage um, you to sit down and maybe chat with them, see if they're interested. Or have them come talk, speak with us yeah, about absolutely. it. Yes, please talk to us. We're here. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for being on the panel and talking about civic engagement and student philanthropy.